Hey guys, I'm back. So today I'm going to be discussing electrostatic field electron acceleration, or really why electrons aren't sucked back to the anode. Because if you recall, you've probably heard a million bajillion times electrons are uh, repelled by cathodes and are uh, attracted by anodes, or anodes attract electrons and cathodes repel electrons. So as you can see, You've probably seen something like this with a cathode and an anode, uh, excuse me if I'm not pointing directly at them, this is a green screen, obviously. Um, so you, you probably heard the electrons are liberated from the cathode or something, that, that part of this is not important. But then the, the cathode repels them and the anode uh, attracts them and then they pass through the anode and keep going. Well, you're probably thinking, as, as was I was thinking, is that doesn't make any sense, right? Uh, the you know, electrons should be sucked back to the anode if they're um, attracted to anodes. But in reality, electrons aren't attracted by anodes and they're not repelled by cathodes. It's similar, but it's not the same. So let me explain it. If you have a cathode and an anode, electrons are liberated by the cathode. And you apply a high voltage at the anode and ground or a low voltage at the cathode. And what's really ju just um, to note, there's normally a negative voltage on the cathode and ground at the anode. But it doesn't matter. It, it, you could have a, a thousand volts here and 20,000 volts here and you would still have uh, 19,000 volt um, difference between these two, with this one being the positive end. So just saying the anode just has to be more positive than the cathode, and the cathode doesn't have to be ground or negative. But anyway, the electrons come out of the cathode, and then um, what's really the case is between a voltage field, where the anode uh, is called an electrostatic field, and where the anode is the higher uh, potential, or the higher voltage, if you were to take your multimeter and put ground on the cathode and positive on the anode, you would n read a positive voltage on your multimeter, probably a few kilovolts or so. Um, you know, just like in a CRT TV with the flyback driver. And this, this potential creates a, an electrostatic field, and the lines on the electrostatic field are usually slightly curved or straight, um, and the electrons would be accelerated along this line. So you have the cathode with the electrons liberated from the cathode, and then they'll be accelerated by the electrostatic field, and they're accelerated towards the positive end of the electrostatic field. And so uh, the electrons will be accelerated towards the positive end of the electrostatic field and repelled by the negative end of the electrostatic field. They're not attracted to the positive end of the electrostatic field and repelled by the negative end of the electrostatic field, um, which is basically you can think of it as that, but they're accelerated along the field um, towards the anode side. So you can see where the uh, electrons being attracted by anodes comes from, but it's not, it's not true. But once they leave the electrostatic field, the electrostatic field is only between the anode and the cathode. There's no electrostatic field over on this side where my head is because the, there's, no, there's nothing over here. It's only between the anode and the cathode. So once the electrons leave the anode, they also left the electrostatic field, and so they're not going to be accelerated anymore um, by anything. And then the next electrons coming from the cathode are going to be accelerated along the electrostatic field potential. Again, so they're accelerated towards the positive end of the field. Like I said, it, this doesn't have to be ground or negative, and this doesn't have to be positive. This could be negative 500 volts, um, but if this was negative 1500 volts, you'd still have a 1000 volt electrostatic field, and the electrons would still be accelerated towards the anode side of things. So I hope that's uh, to just sum it all up before um, we're finished here, because this is one of my shorter videos, I know I tend to make long videos, um, but electrons aren't repelled by cathodes and attracted towards anodes. They are actually accelerated along the electrostatic field, which only exists between a cathode and an anode. And once they leave that electrostatic field, they're done. They're not going to be uh, sucked back to the anode. So that's why electrons aren't actually sucked back towards anodes. So thanks for watching.